Hello, this is Barry. Welcome to the video. Today, as you already can tell by looking at my hands and some finally some Pokemon cards, not only at a screen, we're going to go over what I'm buying, and you can already tell in a following Pokemon market. And uh, after that, I'll, I'll just show you around, see what's happening. You also get to see a bit of my collection, and then we'll move on to, as always, the screen, and I'll go over why I'm buying what I'm buying because, in my opinion. It's easy to say, okay, I'm buying brilliant stars, but then again, why am I buying billion stars? Why am I buying fusion? So let's get started with the video. So ready, you get to see a bit of my collection. As you see, and I think I've mentioned in the channel, I come from Yu-Gi-Oh! So I sold most of my Yu-Gi-Oh! Seal collection. And uh, if you're interested to know why, uh, just let me know. I might do a video on it. And I just kept um, just a couple of boxes, the ones that I believe will do well and are doing well. So these are empty, these are, have cards inside. These have cards. This box here, you might recognize it, comes from PSA. And I keep mainly my singles and my graded cards. A good part of what my collection is worth is in this box because I have a lot of, I mean, not a lot, but I've got a few of really high-end Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And, but let's, again, let's focus on what I'm buying, what Pokemon products I'm buying on this foreign market. So excuse me again for the mic. Um, I'm just using the iPhone's microphone and then I'll switch to my regular mic once we move on to the screen. So these boosters here, these packs obviously come from playing at my local car shop. I've started playing competitively. I'm not that good at it. I'm, I mean, I'm getting better, obviously, and it takes some time, but it's, it's really fun. Then it's always, it's really nice, I have to say, seeing kids playing, having fun, these little kids. And I mean, it just, it's hard to explain, but I highly recommend to do so. So here, as you can see, I mean, you can definitely see that Paradox Rift box, which it's really minty. And I got for a good price, consider if you're not, if you're new to the channel, I'm in Italy, so I'm in the EU, and I like to focus on the difference between the European and the American market. And then on the back, you see Tempest and Astral. These two I was able to get for 115 euros each shipped, which is actually a pretty good deal. And uh, I have to say, I'm very bullish on Astral more than I am on Tempest. And once we move on to the screen, I uh, will tell you why and I'll show you why. Uh, we'll look at some numbers. So here, my most recent pickups, which are Brilliant, Fusion, and then as I talked in my last video, and I like to not only talk, but also show the fact, we have Chillin'. And if you haven't seen my last video on Chillin' Rain, it should be open up probably right here where my index is, and I highly recommend to do so. I go over, I talk about why I think Chilling Rain is one of the best set to pick up now. Now in the back there, some just some Yu-Gi-Oh, which it's not really the main part of this video, but these three I was able to get for 450 euros and it was a local deal. So I picked them up in person, which is really nice considering how expensive cards are here in Italy specifically for English cards. And it's not that easy to find them as a whole in the European Union for such price because just chilling, the lowest listed is in the Netherlands, 150 plus shipping, which is around 15 euros. But the seller doesn't ship to me for some reason. Based on car market, you can pick the, the countries you want to ship to. And same basically applies to Fusion and Brilliant. You cannot find them for less than 150 to 160 euros. And then you have to add shipping and being able to find someone who had three of them and just had to pay 150 euros each, which is basically what they're going for in the American market. Or, I mean, I saw that Chilling is now selling for $160 and many YouTubers talked about it, which is, which also I think wrapped up the views in my video, but it happens. I, it seems to be that I talked about it at the right time. And then Brilliant, I'm very bullish on Brilliant. I think the Arcus is highly underrated 
and but again we'll see all of these in the screen in just a second and then before we move on to the screen i just want to throw one thing out there i would love to start doing box breaks on the channel i know i promised a one or sub special opening but again sourcing cards for i'm not saying a good price but a decent price here it's very hard so that's why it takes me quite some time it, it actually takes the work to be able to find cards for a, a decent price so i would love to start doing box breaks and actually not only if you are in the eu but also if you are in the states or in canada in the united kingdom australia is a bit different it's a bit more expensive to ship but i would be able to ship the cards for a really good price therefore it will make it possible for me to do box breaks for europeans british and americans and canadians so if that's something that you would like to do i know i'm very small on youtube but it would kind of be a dream of mine so if you'll be interested to do so we can break one of these boxes or a newer set just let me know down in the comments if it would it's something that you'd be interested in so that's enough for the closet today let's move back onto the screen and we are back to the screen as usual hopefully the sun is a bit better now i do apologize but unfortunately i do not have unlimited money and i do promise that if the channel grows i will invest back into it now again forgive me but i'll say one more time if you would be interested in participating in box breaks in the future please let me know down in the comments it applies to not only again europeans but also americans canadians and british so kind of pretty much all around the world apart from australians i'm sorry but shipping over there is quite expensive however i'm i'm sure that i'd be more than glad to work something out but again if that's something you'll be interested in please let me know in the comments it would be a dream of mine and you guys would be the ones to make it come true for the sake of this video i figured that i will only talked about astral and brilliant otherwise the video would be 30 minutes long so if you want to know about fusion again chilling you have a dedicated video on that which i highly recommend to watch so let's get started astral so as always here we're going to take a look tcg player car market i did the math and into our usual excel spreadsheet so we can take a look at the current available supply now Actual radium boxes in the US, as you can see, are selling for slightly below $130. How much are they selling for in the EU? We don't know for sure because it does say one day average price, but it is highly unreliable. At least that's my opinion. I don't know if any of you were familiar with it. Also, find these stats unreliable. I do, so I don't really look at them, but nevertheless, Astral, $130, just below $130. Now, what I want you to focus on is this one-year price chart. And I say that because if you look at it, this was February of last year. So this year, we all know that the Pokemon market has been in a downtrend. We know many sets have gone down from all time high. I'm talking about most modern Sword and Shield sets. And Brilliant Stars will be one of them. But if you look at it, we are basically same level at last year. Actually, one year chart, we're up, what, 30? I'd say 20% because after shipping and fees, all that, about 20%. So $100, $130. And that tells me that obviously we know that as bookster boxes are sold, most likely many people will open them and supply is diminishing. So if price keep moving higher and supply is diminishing, it's highly possible, and these are all hypotheses, we don't know for sure, but, but based on simple microeconomics, it is telling us that demand is staying pretty much stable. If we were to see it skyrocketing to the upside, so from 100 to 100, then we would knew that obviously the supply, yes, would have gotten shorter with time, but obviously a double 100% in, in a year just simply means that demand is increasingly higher. Hope you all agree with me. Nevertheless, if we take a look at some numbers as we like to do here on, on the channel. Now, this one usually a spreadsheet. November 25th, Astral, we had 95 boxes on TCG Player and 310 on Card Market. 
Astral today. We have 123 on tissue players, so supply has apparently gone up, which again, not a surprise. We know that the number of boxes listed does not reflect the number of boxes available in the world. I know that. However, despite the fact that supply has gone higher compared to last month, price has been stable. What does it mean? Demand is still there. At least, again, that's what basic microeconomics is telling us. Now, on the car market, last month, 310 boxes, today, 279. Supply is going down, which is nice. It's, it's basically what we want to see if we collect or invest into seal products. Now, I also wanted to show you why I'm pretty bullish, and obviously this is not a financial advice. I'm not an advisor, it's just a guy looking at Pokemon cards and appreciate them as a whole. So my thinking is, considering the pull rate, considering the artwork, considering the Pokemon themselves represented, how can Palkia and Dialia be below $30 raw? Can someone please explain me how come these cards are so cheap? Now, is it me only that thinks these cards should be worth much more? Again, just consider the pull rate on an alt art from Astral Radiance. How uh, can this be so cheap? Now, I know the Machamp V is highly appreciated. $85 chase card. I, I would say that it's, it's a pretty fair price, but how are these cheaper? And the Starmie. And then if we move lower, Path to Peak, which is currently played in the meta, is $20 as a secret rare. We have a double turbo energy secret also below $20. And then also, I don't know about you, but it, again, for kind of the same reasons, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident as well. I mean I just like them as I like the artworks. I like that these are kind of the last rainbow rares that we've gotten this park in the August. and below ten dollars even not caring about the money themselves just caring about the artwork i would just get them if i could and same goes for the gold version of these cards so it's just me that thinks this card should be higher in price might be but definitely i i just i don't understand these to be honest which is why i'm pretty bullish on astral now I'm also contemplating about just buying these two singles because they're just so cheap, which I'm trying to to look for them. But as I said in the beginning of this video, trying to find English Pokemon cards for a decent price is not as easy as it sounds. But then again, that's basically my point. Happy to know what you guys think on Astral. Now, Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars is quite interesting for two reasons. Now, number one, if you remember what I talked about the price chart of Astral, you see this happening with Brilliant. Skyrocketed it, they reprinted it, and now it's just, it's been sitting down ever since the end of May. Now, what does that tell us? This is coming from, from down here, massive demand, they reprinted it, supply back into the market, the market has digested the amount of supply, and now we could but we could, we don't know, I don't know, nobody knows really, see healthy growth. Now again, not a financial advisor, not financial advice. That's usually what happens in, in the stock market. That's what happens in every market. Even if you're selling apples, if someone just dumps a million apples next to you, your apples are worth nothing. Once people start eating apple, they buy them for cheap, then there's no more apple. That millions turns into 100,000. And then again, you go back into the prices you were selling before the 1 million apples dropped into the market. Now, that only happens if demand on the apples is as much as it was before that 1 million apples were thrown into the market. Hope you get my point. Now, what is really interesting about Brilliant is look at these prices. 166, 169, 168, so roughly $170. Now, this is my video. By the way, join the Discord if you haven't already. You can find me there, we can chat. I would love to grow a community for both Europeans, Americans, and whoever wants to join. They're all welcome. So this was Astral, as you can see here, last month. 
and it was selling for as much as it's selling now, which is good. At least it's not going down. But look at Brilliant. This was how much Brilliant was selling a month ago, 155. And look at Brilliant today. It's selling for $15 more. So I think that's a, a plus one for me, but just telling us that this set, people are realizing maybe, or might be just speculation, I guess we'll never know, that this set is actually good. Now, same as we did with Astral, let's take a look at the number of boxes. Now, Brilliant, we had last month 110 on TCG Player, 198 on Car Market. Now look at this, 75 on TCG Player and 176 on Car Market, which means supply is going down. Now again, same as Astral, does these numbers reflect the whole amount of boxes available? No, obviously not. But as long as people don't just throw into the market a thousand boxes at once, these just kind of give us an overall understanding of, of what's going on. So supply is going down, prices are going up by roughly 10%. It seems like that could also not only be driven by the amount of supply diminishing, which in a month, I understand supply can go down, but I don't see supply going that down in just a month when it comes to modern boxes. So I'm thinking, again, not financial advice, just my thought, just my thinking, as, as always, let me know what you think, that demand is going back up. Now, again, take a look at the cards, obviously Charizard V, which has been dropping like crazy. Everyone's talking about it. And certainly any point in just saying what everyone else is saying. This Charizard V star is actually doing pretty well. I know that, you know, PSA 10 goes for over hundred bucks and look at this, it bottomed at 50 and now it's what, at 60, 65. So quite the gain there. And I'm thinking, why is this charger moving up more aggressively than this one? And my thinking is kind of same as for Astral. These are going to be, at least for now, the last glance that we got at rainbow rare cards. I mean, we don't, obviously we don't have rainbow cards now in, at least for now, in the Scarlet Violet era. So can these go down in history? I, I don't know. I'm potentially the whole sun and moon era could go down for having rainbow cards. But nevertheless, these, at least for now, are the last rainbow rare cards we have. And in addition to that, it's a, it's a czar. So people might start in, to recognize that. Again, Arcus, kind of the same as it goes for Pocket and Dialogia. How can this be $25 for an old art? And it's an Arcus. I honestly don't understand it. And then overall, this set is a bit stronger. At least again, that's my opinion. But also just by looking at the prices than Astral, which makes sense on why it is more expensive, as well as consider that it is a charger set. But at least it does not only have charger as a big chase card. So that is going to be it for me today. As always, don't forget to check out the channel for more content. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy what you see and you want to see more. And if you do enjoy what you see, please leave a like. It really helps. And again, please let me know down in the comments if you would be interested in participating in future box breaks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.